Buongiorno. Today I am packing a bag to go to Sicily and I'm packing for summer season so I need a combination of heavy things and lightweight things and I have not had any idea what to pack. I took all the clothes that I typically bring with me and I put them in a big pile and I just could not make a selection. So I decided to fall back on my favorite strategy which is weighing clothes. Today I decided to go a little bit different with that strategy and I want to show you how I did it. So first of all this is my kitchen scale. Uh, and I use this to weigh all of my clothes. I bundle the clothes up, sometimes with rubber bands, and then I put them on top and I find out how much they weigh. So just real quickly, as I've been going through all of my clothes, I've been just dropping them on the scale to see what they weigh, and then I put them in piles. And so I've organized it in piles. One ounce, two ounce, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this pile is overweight things, things that weigh 10 or more ounces, and some things you just can't really get away with, they're gonna weigh a lot. So I just wanted to show you out of interest uh, what you can do in those weights because it's interesting how you can take things that you would have never guessed would be so lightweight. So I am really careful about my weights. Uh, in the one ounce pile, if you can ever find anything that's one ounce, it's probably going to be silk. This is a silk shrug that I bought uh, when I was in Thailand, leading a tour of Thailand, which is lovely and it's only a single ounce. So this is something I often will take with me just to go over the top of clothing. This is an Eileen Fisher top, tank top, that is silk also, woven silk, so it's just a single ounce. This will go with me for sure. And already when I've looked at the scale of things here, I'm noticing that I'm probably going to take these things. I'm probably not gonna take these things. It was just an instant decision once I saw it. A caveat here is that tops, scarves, things like that tend to be lighter weight than the things, uh, than bottoms. Bottom weights are usually a lot heavier. If you can find pants or a skirt or something that's under eight ounces, you're doing really, really well. Also for scale, just so you know, I am six foot two. I wear a large to an extra large, about a size 12, 14. So uh, if you are shopping and you're smaller than me, you're gonna get away with less weight. If you are larger than me, you're going to have more weight. So in these lighter piles, here's the thing I'm seeing that is kind of a consistency. You've got uh, silk, and then the other thing you've got, this is the two ounce pile. Every one of these things is made of cotton, lightweight cotton. This is a cotton tank top. This is a lightweight cotton dress. I found this, uh, it's two ounces on the clearance rack at Target. Just a cute little dress. And then I found uh, a lacy top. And this lacy long sleeve top, again, clearance rack at Target, is perfect to go over the top of things. So these are things mostly you'll have to layer. All of these are very thin cottons, and I would layer with a tank top, but that's two ounces, that's pretty good. Once we get to the three ounce zone, that's where we start to do really well. Uh, so these are tank tops, this is a short sleeve camp type shirt, and then your standard tank top with a little bit of spandex in it, which is what I would recommend, uh, these are all going to be about three ounces. So three ounce is where your zone is for things that are sleeveless or short sleeve. So uh, as we look through here, I've got uh, a couple of really lightweight shirts. This is a lightweight woven cotton. I found this in France, really sheer, but this is nice to just throw on almost like a jacket over clothes. So these things here are all tops. They all work really, really well, short sleeve and sleeveless. And there's one extra thing in here. This is something else I bought in Thailand. This is a dress and it weighs three ounces. It's a long dress, sleeveless. So when you go with silk, which this is, silk really gives you the option to go ultra, ultra light. It's very expensive. Even in Thailand, this cost me about $70, which is a lot for Thailand, uh, but it's really worth it because I have an extra dress that weighs almost nothing and it's very light. And uh, in hot weather, it's cool. And in cool weather, you'd be surprised how warm silk can be. So that's my three ounce pile. My four ounce pile is where things get very interesting because all kinds of things can be four ounces. So the top thing in my four ounce pile is a wool sweater. This is a loose weave Eileen Fisher sweater that I love. It's so comfy and cozy. Four ounces, it's the same as a t-shirt. So you can do really well if you find these open weave sweaters like this. This is a great piece to add to your luggage. It also squishes down really well so you can compact it. Uh, also in here, I have another silk dress, but a really long kind of flowy silk dress with lots of layers. So four ounces, again, the same as a t-shirt, but silk takes a lot of the weight away. Uh, and then other things I've got in here, which are pretty standard, just your standard white t-shirt like this. So that's a typical four ounce piece as well. Uh, another thing I've got in here that's a nice extra is at four ounces, I found a little jacket. 
that can go over a lot of things like this. So this is another four ounce piece, a um, layering piece with pockets that's woven. So it's not particularly light, but it's okay. Four ounces is great. Leggings, these are from Costco, Felina leggings, and they are fabulous and super soft and really, really light at four ounces. As a comparison, in my heavy pile over here, I have my favorite pair of Lululemon leggings, which are not even full length. These are ankle length, and these are about 11 ounces compared to the Felina ones, which are four ounces. So it's obvious once I did the weighing, which pair I should take. I really wanna take these because I think they fit better, but these are less than half the weight. So this is an obvious way to use this system to be able to, uh, to do well with your weights. One other interesting thing I found doing this is that I actually have here two of the same tank top. This is a top by Eddie Bauer. This is a large regular. This is an extra large tall. This weighs an entire ounce more being a larger size. So if you can get away with a slightly smaller size, don't go with the baggy fit, go with a slimmer fit because you save an ounce, which doesn't sound like much, but in the end, an ounce really makes a difference. Once we get over to the, the five ounce pile, that's when we start seeing bottom weights. If you can get to a bottom weight of five ounces, you're doing great. Tops at five ounces, that's the point at which you kind of go, mm. So these tops, I love them both, but they are not light enough. This is a t-shirt weight fabric. I love that top, not gonna go with me, with me. This is a new one that I got that's a Royal Robins top that I think is nice because it's a cool max kind of thing. It's a cool weave. It's supposed to be a lightweight travel fabric, but actually it's really heavy and coming in at five ounces is too much. You can do so much better at the four ounce mark. So this one, alas, is not coming with me, even though I think it's a beautiful shirt. Uh, but also from that same brand, Royal Robins, I found this wonderful skirt, which weighs six ounces, so, or five ounces, five ounces. So it's a nice five ounce size. Uh, it weighs nothing, it's got pockets. That's a winner. So that's one of my favorites that's new. Another thing I bought in Thailand, this is a rayon blend sort of culotte pant, which also weighs nothing. So shopping in Asia is great. You can find a lot of these wonderful things that are light and perfect for, um, for the diff different kinds of weather. So as we're getting a little heavier, that's when I start to have to wonder. Once we get to six, seven, eight ounces, it better be something that's a bottom and it's better be something that's versatile. So in that category, these are some of my favorite pants. These are linen capri pants, which were actually ankle pants, but I'm six foot two. And these shrunk after I wore them the first time and they looked ridiculous. So I cut them off and I made them into capri pants and I just hemmed them there and put a little vent on the side. So now they're one of my favorite pairs uh, and they're linen. So linen is nice because it's lightweight and it breathes and it's much more comfortable than any of the, the blends. Uh, and then also we have in this pile, a skirt. And this is a skirt that has a really nice little extra I got this at Nordstrom. You can retch up the sides like this and turn it from a, a short skirt or long skirt into a short skirt. So now we've got a short skirt. So it is heavier, but because it can become short or long, I feel like that's worth the weight and I'll accept that as one of my pieces in my bag. And then in here, uh, we also have uh, something that's a, a new skirt to me. And this is again, a Royal Robins one. It's just a really pretty little black skirt, very simple. And it's got the extra added bonus of a pocket in it. So it is a little heavier than I'd like, but for a skirt, a knit skirt, it's not too bad. And a black skirt is so versatile that again, I'll accept it. So once you get to the higher weights, you make some, some choices. Uh, in the eight ounce category, I am lucky enough to have found uh, these are Eileen Fisher, a pair of linen stretch pants. I've never seen a linen stretch blend. These were such a find and they are so beautiful. They look really nice and they come in at eight ounces, which for a bottom is incredible. Compare that to these, which are super lightweight denim and they're capri pants and they weigh 10 ounces. So two ounces more for shorter pants. These ones here were a great find. If you can find this blend of linen and stretchiness, you're doing really well. Uh, so, and then also in that eight ounce category is another skirt, which I've decided is a great skirt, but it is too heavy. So once you get to eight ounces, too heavy. At eight ounces, you should be able to have a pair of pants at that weight if they're linen or other lightweight cotton, uh, and a skirt should not be that heavy. So these are kind of the benchmarks. Once you get to eight, that's when you start to really ask questions. 
Then we have the overweight pile. And this is where it's really hard because this is where I think we verge into the territory of um, luxury items. Do I really need to bring these? I don't know. I want to. I do love these leggings, these Lululemon leggings. They're really nice and I, I think they look good on me, but they're pretty heavy. And I'm going to Sicily in May. I don't know that that's a wise choice, especially synthetics like this, they make you sweat too much. So that's maybe a no. The other one that's on, I'm on the fence about, this is the Eddie Bauer Seven Days, Seven Ways cardigan, which I really like because you can wear it in a variety of ways. You can button it up sort of across you or around you. I might allow this even though it's close to 10 ounces because I can wear it in so many different ways and it's versatile. So that's the key when you have things that are heavier is you just have to think, well, can I wear this a whole bunch? It's a super neutral color, a nice light gray, and it's a lightweight cotton. So it's not gonna be too heavy or too hot for the summer weather. So this may stay, I think I've just talked myself into it, because it looks good, you can wear it a lot of ways. And even if it's heavy, I do need some um, long sleeves in this mix. And then the last thing, jeans. Jeans are hard. Jeans can be anything. They can be lightweight like these Capri ones. They can be all the way to your ankles. I prefer uh, skinny jeans and I love these ones because they look so good on me. I just am having a hard time because they're a pound four ounces. That's way too much. That's so much. But I know if I bring these, I'm going to feel good wearing them. So here's my strategy. I'm going to bring them. But since I'm bringing them, they weigh a lot. I'm wearing these on travel days. Any day that I have to get on a plane, I'm gonna be wearing these. They're comfortable enough to wear on a plane. So that's my strategy when I have things that are overweight. It's the same for shoes. When I bring shoes that are heavier than I'd like, I wear those when I get on the plane. And that way, when I'm carrying my bag, I don't feel the weight. So there's my strategy. I'll take these, but this is what I'm wearing on the plane, as well as any of the other overweight tops and so on. Uh, probably this will be my, my top I wear on the plane along with a couple of things underneath. So that's how you can strategize to keep heavier things in your bag while at the same time uh, being able to keep your bag light. So there you go. That's what I'm packing for uh, Sicily and Italy and London in uh, May and June this year. Hopefully it's going to go well and I'll let you know. So ciao. Thanks for watching.